Hey there, it's Elizabeth Mack, and you're watching another edition of Limelight Live. This week, I am somewhere completely different. I am at the animal shelter here in Tallahassee, and joining me on this week's show is Terry and Kara, who is a board member of the Animal Shelter Foundation, and then Pierre, I think it's your volunteer here. Okay. Assistant director. Assistant director? Ooh, yes. So, here we are, and joining us also is a very special guest. This is Harry. Harry is one of one two siblings. His his sister's name is Harriet. Uh, they are both looking for homes. Well, uh, Harry is actively looking right now. Harriet is. She's recovering from problems. Yes, she's in the process. So, <laughs> but joining this week, we're going to talk about um some things here at the animal shelter and some fun activities they have coming up in town. So first, um, Perry, can you tell me some background on the animal shelter? So just in case, you know, people are wondering and wanting to know, you know, you can come and adopt animals anytime. Right? Absolutely. <laughs> um, of course, we're located in Tom Brown Park on Easterwood Drive. Um, if you just come down by the, uh, turn down by the armory, you'll, you'll find us right there on the left next to the Red Cross. We're open six days a week. We're closed on Mondays, but um, we're open at 1030 and Monday through Friday. We're open until 6 or actually 6.30, but the um, kennels close at 6. And on Saturday and Sunday, we're open until 5, um, 1 to 5 on Sundays. Mm -hmm. And if you would like to go online and look at our animals, you can just go to talgov.com, Animal Services, Online Kennel. And we have pictures of all the babies, like Harry, and it has a description of each animal and um, how old they are, what size they are, that sort of thing. You look at their pictures. And if you find one you like, just come on by and, and do a meet and greet. Um, and then also, I understand that a lot of animals, you take in a lot of animals here at the shelter, about roughly how many, I think the last time I was told it was around in the thousands. Yes, we take in between nine and 10,000 animals any given year, mm -hmm. um, and we would love to see every single one of those go out to a home, mm -hmm. or go back to their owner. The about how be. many animals are at the shelter right now? Right now, we probably have, a, well, hello Harry, we probably <laughs> have around 300 at this point. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we have plenty to choose from, all breeds, all sizes, shapes, genders, anything you could want. And then, so that's pretty much where the Animal Shelter Foundation comes in, you know, to surprise, surprise, <laughs> provide support for the shelter, correct, Cara? That's right, that's right. We're an all-volunteer organization, and we supplement the, all the great work that Perry and her team do here, but we, we do programs that are beyond their budgetary mm -hmm. um, allotments, such as treating Harry's sister, Harriet. We provide the amidocide. We pay for that mm -hmm. so she can get better and get adopted. Um, we also fund special veterinary um, veterinary procedures. Hi, Harry. <laughs> um, beyond the beyond the means that the of the shelter, mm -hmm. we also do um, spay neuter vouchers to try to prevent those thousands of animals coming in. Yeah. And then um, we also have um, education programs. We do doggy manners, which is training after adoption, so that That's people great. will the animals will integrate mm -hmm. well into the homes and they decrease the returns back. We want them to stay in their loving homes forever. And we also just knew this year we started a humane education program for um, Leon County educators where they can get continuing education and we have the Humane Society of the United States um, trainers come in and, and teach it. So okay. we're trying to reach out. And then so with all of that also comes in the funding aspect of it. And Absolutely. They, you do have a fundraiser coming up, correct? Yes, we do. This Friday, it's called the Forever Valentine Dinner. Mm -hmm. It's at um, Bradley's Retreat out Centerville Road. Okay. It's at 6 p.m. Tickets are 120 per couple or 65 for individual tickets. And we're going to have um, um, food by Black Fig. Okay. And Lo Fine Plains is the musical guest. And then, of course, we're going to have our special guests will be from the shelter. We'll have furry, fur legged friends, four legged friends there. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to have a kissing booth. So, with the animals. So, it'll just oh, be a fun, cute. fun evening. Aww, good food, good entertainment. Be. And then so all of this, of course, I guess I want to make sure that I stress the importance, you know, of supporting programs like this in the community because people, I think, oftentimes, I guess, underestimate how, you know, it impacts the community on having stray animals, homeless pets, or I guess I can't call them pets if they're homeless, but homeless animals, and how this is something that it we need we can take some control on by supporting. So, Perry, yes, absolutely, it's it's a community issue because these animals, um, when when there's an animal out there that's not spayed or neutered, then of course it reproduces and creates more and more unwanted pets or unwanted animals, uh -huh. and um, there you know. No one wants a pack of, of dogs or a lot of uh, wild kitties roaming their neighborhoods. So, yeah. you know, anything we can do there to um, 
spay and neuter and decrease the population and also find homes for those that are that are already here because mm -hmm. um, rather than going to an expensive breeder or going out of state we have some beautiful animals like Harry right here at the shelter mm -hmm. so uh, we'd, we'd love to see the community turn out and is there a fee inquired with Elm adopting a pet from the shelter there there are um, there's a schedule of fees and it's on our website but primarily you can think basically fifty dollars for a dog or twenty five for a cat and mm -hmm. then it depends on whether or not they've been spayed or neutered um, if they've been here for a long time that, mm -hmm. that price has decreased and we do have a special adoption event coming up um, okay. after you go to the forever Valentine dinner on Friday evening come on out to the shelter Saturday morning and all our adoptions are fourteen dollars in oh, honor of Valentine's great. Day ah so come get a furry Valentine that sounds lovely I know my pets love me so if you're looking for a loved one can find one in your four-legged friends. <laughs> and can I also put um, tickets are available at animalsshelterfoundation.org. Great. For the forever dinner. Awesome. And then as usual we have other events that are going on around town. It's a very busy week with seven days and opening nights going on. Mm -hmm. You know it's one of the most exciting times in Tallahassee. Um, but aside from that, uh, Tyler Perry, uh, the have, the haves and the haves not the haves and the have-nots <laughs> will be at the Tallahassee Civic Center from at 7.30 p.m. If you want more information on tickets, they're asking that you call 222-0400. Again, that number is 222-0400. And then on Thursday, the Tallahassee Film Festival has been going on for some time here in Tallahassee, and they're looking to kick off their volunteerism with that and so they're having a kickoff event meeting it'll be um, at the downtown library from 6 to 7 p.m. on Thursday and again if you want to volunteer with the Tallahassee Film Festival this is your chance to get in they're having a volunteer meet and greet at 6 to 7 p.m. on Thursday at the downtown library um, and then something else uh, Mike's Stone Baked Pizza they've been open for a year and to celebrate they're going to be having an open drum circle and jam at their restaurant on Jackson Bluff Road from 7 to 10 10 p.m. It's a free event, so they're saying if you have a drum, if you have drums and you want to come out and participate, you can join the circle from 7 to 10 p.m. Oh, nice. It's actually, I think we have a pretty large drum community. I think it's the, like the variety or the diversity of the types of drums, and so you'll find that a lot. I'm actually kind of interested to see how many different types they can get yeah. all in one yeah, place. It does. Yep. <laughs> um, and then, like I was saying, seven days of opening nights is happening right now. And so they'll be all over town. Um, a few on Friday, um, Jen Agin, um, an author of Visits from the Goon Squad um, and several other award-winning novels as well. Um, she will be doing a reading at um, Ruby Diamond Auditorium at 8 p.m. Um, and then come Saturday, oh, well, then there will also be conversations so you know you can come with your questions if you know even of her other novels that you want to discuss, you know, come out for that. Um, come Saturday, there's the On Trio. It'll be at Pebble Hill Plantation, which is just about Thomasville. Um, if you keep heading out Thomasville Road, just before you get there, it's really nice, quaint, woo, it's a really nice, quaint area. And they'll be having that there at 2 p.m. Again, that's the On Trio at Pebble Hill Plantation. Um, and then Saturday also uh, is the Saturday Matinee of the Arts, which is also part of Seven Days of Opening Nights. It's from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the Tallahassee Museum. It'll be a myriad of different performances. You'll have your choice and your pick and your option on different things to attend. Um, and on Sunday is the National Theater of Scotland's Long Gone Lonesome, and that will be at the Turner Auditorium on TCC campus uh, at 8 p.m. and that will be going on from Sunday to the 14th, which is I believe is Tuesday the following week. Um, if you want information about the tickets or more information about the events, they're asking that you call 644-6500. Again, if you're wanting more information about tickets or about any of the events for seven days and opening nights, you can call 644-6500. That is all that I have for you this week. Thanks for joining me. Harry says hello and take him home. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> and I guess we'll see you around town. Nice having you on this week, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.